Hey guys, welcome back to another round of Cyborg Gaming. You can see I'm here in the Shaded Ruins. That is here in the Shaded Woods on the third bonfire. Um, we had to go through the Ruin Fork Road, through kind of the ghosty area and all the fog. It wasn't too bad getting up to this bonfire. I did a couple, died a couple times because of the ghosts. Um, if you're careful though, you should be able to figure out how to get over here. So, you can see here, we still have the ghosts. Hmm. Okay. So, you can see some stairs here. And work our way down. You can see an area off to the side of us. So, we're going to go through a lot of the areas in here because there is a lot of hidden stuff. Boop. Hmm, don't like that. Okay. Okay. So let's start going down and seeing what we can find here. Nice gun item. Sadly, the worst item that you can get. Okay, so I don't want to go through there just yet. And let's go down. So we're going to need to be very careful with that in this area. Okay, so we're gonna have to probably break these manually. Okay. Get rid of that. I think that's cursed. So you're gonna wanna be very careful with that going around. Woo. And if you could do anything to up your yeah, you know, curse resistance, I recommend doing that. I am not not so good on that right now. Ah, run, run, run. That is going to get very annoying very fast here. So I'm just going to have to pace myself. Apologies, this video is going to be probably pretty long and just a lot of sitting and waiting. So let's get that. All right, we got a f flame butterfly. And I'm sure there's got to be better ways of doing this than what I am doing. Let's get out of that. Okay, so I know there's going to be like some NPCs and stuff. And some enemies, so let's see if I can just kind of draw them out here. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, nice. Oh, you got to be kidding Shit. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted, but that probably works out. Whoa. I'm just going to dart him. Okay. So, <laughs> taking this very slow. Okay, cool. You see some of my, uh, I think it's gauntlets broke. So just be careful where you're walking around here. So let's come down here. Nope. Okay. I can't remember quite how to get that key. Um, that is one of the hidden things that I want to grab in this area. Um, I remember it being important later on. Uh, I'll cover that in another video. Or later on. So let's keep... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. So you can see up here as well. I think we're gonna need to come into there. Off from this side. Man, I'm hating this cursed crap. This needs to go away. So you can see where we are off from the side. And back to this bonfire. Hmm. Why not? I feel like there's a better time to use this. Can't quite remember this guy. Let's see what happens here. Whew. Okay. Well, it didn't mean to roll back into him. Nice. Fang key. Perfect. 
So let's see what happens here. I don't think there is anything down there. Okay, let's leave that for later. Let's go check if that... Ah, that might be that key. I'll have to double check that. Can we get back in there? Don't want to go that way. So let's go across here. And let's continue back up there with all the cursed crap. Yeah, just make that little jump. So I'm going to continue to break these guys as best possible. And you can see, like, ah, fragrant branch of your. I'm going to need another one. Okay, that's fine. It seems like these guys, they stop one of those. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need one more. But the pots, at least, uh, once that you break them, they don't really release any more of the Cursed. So just do your best to break them. And pace yourself accordingly so that you don't get cursed and have to start over. Alright, let's draw you out. And just get behind you. Ooh. That is a lot of damage for this guy. Okay. Let's take a life gem here, just in case. You can see another one's coming up. Overall, though, they're pretty slow. They're not too hard. They just, they hit hard. You, I have a prom problem with backstabbing them. They don't seem to give me much of a hitbox for that, which is kind of frustrating, because I feel like they, they're slow enough, they should be pretty easy to just get behind and backstab. Oh, I thought I was... Okay. I thought I had killed him. Same thing. Let's pop a life gem. So it's good to have about 20 of those. Just go to Mandula. And make sure you have that hag merchant there. Okay. So let's get up here. Now we got a Pharaoh's Lockstone. That is great. So we can keep moving on. So let's go take out these guys. And... Let's go. Be able to take him out pretty easily. You see another one up here. Life gem. Okay. Doesn't do us much good. But I like to take these guys out as they're stepping up. And standing up just makes my life a little easier. Also, yeah, you can't you can't target them, which is obnoxious, especially for how many they are. There are of these guys. Okay, keep going on this path. There we go. I think we have another one right here. Alright, starting to really work through these Estus Flasks, but I think we're doing pretty good on progress here. Yeah, okay. So many fragrant branches of yore. There's only so many in the game. They're only so easy to grab. Alright. Let's just double check this area really quick. Hurry for pointless. Indeed. Okay. And you might be able to hear that there's still like a dude just kind of giggling and laughing in the background. Okay. Okay. Just so much curse. Which just makes me play very slow because I don't want to get cursed. Um, it's not. It's definitely not as bad as what it was in Dark Souls 1. But it's still, you know, it's an automatic death. Alright, 
Okay. Visions of ambush. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's keep going on. So we have the Fang Key, which we're going to need to use. If we have to come back here, um, I'll do so. I think we're going on to a boss fight here. Let me go double check. There's one area that I feel like I'm missing in here. Quagmire ahead. Awesome. Okay. Be wary of toxic, of course. Alright, well, let's just see how this is. I thought there would be an NPC call in to help. I do remember this one. Yeah. We got the Scorpionus. Oh, come on, that didn't hit me. That hit me. Is everything I'm doing breaking? Jeez, like all my web, all my armor is just shattering. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm still not in a terrible spot. You can see him moving around, her moving around right there. A couple free shots here. And move. So just use your, uh, you know, manage your stamina and endurance, and you should be able to take her out without too much of a problem. Kind of reminds me of the Scorpion King from, uh, what was that, Rock movie? Ooh. Okay, let's pace myself here. A couple free shots there. Ooh. Okay, so it's probably easier for me to stop targeting and just keep moving around like that. Oh, come on. She's definitely not hard, but it's just obnoxious. I don't want my stuff breaking. I only have so much stuff. So let's use a life gem here. Kind of lost where she is. Where is he? Oh, there we go. There she is. So another group of a set of attacks. We should be okay. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's see how much I do. Yeah, nope. Okay. So, shoot. I don't know if I can live through this. Just keep popping life gems and run. Eventually I'm going to need to pull out another sword though. Okay, that works. Let's just do that. And so, I have nine throwing knives. I should be able to just end her with that. So I guess that's the backup if you just destroy your sword like I do. And yeah, I highly recommend close range here. It works a lot better. Um, if you're worried about your armor and stuff, I honestly just recommend taking it off. I do that a lot for these bosses. As you can easily go, yeah, I especially started off pretty bad going against her. Um, I shouldn't have had such a bad time. If you, uh, you can easily kind of avoid her attacks without much of a problem. So now, 
just in case, let's put on the dark sword. Oh, I can't even... Okay, I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's just keep going. I remember trying to figure out where, how to do that last time and just had a major problem with it. So, careful. Just because we just finished boss doesn't mean we won't get jumped. Nice close corridor. We seem to be okay. We just need to be careful. Ah, oh, yes, I do remember this ice. Okay. There is going to be absolute ton of Pharaoh's Lockstones in here. So, if you want to use them, feel free. But honestly, there's more than, like, you'll even want to do here, from what I remember. go. We need to be careful here. I think that is our bonfire. Ooh, got some lag issues. But at least it's giving me the hit and it's taking away a good amount of health. Alright, let's just run up now. Oh, nice. Got the kill. Copy ahead, or, okay, bonfire, main thing there. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I don't want to go there. Oh, crap, what am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, nice. Hey, friend. Let's just talk to you anyways. Oh, I love your poison arrows. Let's get a ton of them. Okay, I got 36,000. Need to fix all my stuff. Yeah, let's go with like 100. Okay. Yeah, poison darts. Up those as well. Okay. Okay. Yep, love you too. Okay, let's go back to the little guy. Wheel, wheel. Okay, well, we'll... At this point, I just need to find the bonfire and get this video over with. I just can't quite remember what I was... where it is. Might be behind the little guy. Okay, is it in here? Prism stone. Is it off here to the right? Okay. Man, it's been a while since I played this. Okay, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. We got through the scorpion princess. We got over here into this new area. The That's not right. The pharaoh's... What is it? Pharaoh something? The Doors of Pharaohs. So I'm going to go back to Manjula really quick. Get my armor fixed up and we'll continue on this little area. Alright guys, hope you found this video helpful. Catch you on the next one.